Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to connect up your PS4 controller to your Linux machine so you can play PlayStation 1 games on the EPSXE emulator. Let me show you my controller. So, you should be seeing the controller right now. So, there's a couple of ways that you can connect. You can go the really, 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 really simple route, which is to get a micro USB cable. You can use the one that's supplied. It's not very long, but you know, anyone will do. Plug one end into here, plug the USB Type A end into your computer. This will start, you know, you know, sort of kind of flashing because it'll be charging and it's connected. That's it. <laughs> You're all good to go. You can go to the Bluetooth route, which doesn't require any software and it's still pretty easy, you know easy as well and to do that is simple open up your bluetooth settings if you're on a different distro they may be somewhere else you gotta put this into sync mode so you press share and the playstation button at the same time for about three seconds this will start flashing so let me show you that now you'll see it flash any second now it is flashing now and when i click wireless controller it will now become blue there we go very quick and we're done that's it so you can either plug the cable in or connect by Bluetooth. Really simple. Now if we open up EPSXE. What is it now? Opening. Okay. I did install it. I don't know why it's asking for this again. I think, yeah, I think it's something to do with OBS. My recording software seems to be messing things up in some capacity somehow. And okay okay there we go you shouldn't have this issue at all so now actually we still want it running so that's fine okay so to configure it let's go to game pads port one pad one and i'm going to go to default so you can actually see this mapping everything and we just start mapping it like so and there we go and the L2 just changes a bit just because it's uh, you know an analog you know, type of button, but you can change it to analog. You know, the DualShock version here if you want to. And uh, there we go. Let me show you this. Let me do the, there we go. You can map the analog sticks. I don't really want them because the original PlayStation didn't have them. And that's it. We can run an ISO now. Where are you? So right here. It's a bin, but okay. I'll just press F3 because I had a save state. Turn the volume down, and as you can see, it is working. I'll get into the game, show you it working like that. That's it. <laughs> really, there's not much more to it than that. There you go. As you can see, we have this game running and we can use our PlayStation 4 controller. There's nothing more to it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.